can we talk a little bit about the history of Sai Baba of Shirdi? Yes, yes, many, yes. many people, I think, have heard of Sacha Sai Baba, who yes. is, uh, so many people think of him as the heir of Sai Baba of Shirdi. You're shaking your head now. Because the thing is that uh, his work and his work is very different. Yes. He was a fakir, you know. A fakir. He had no, fakir. Mm -hmm. He had nothing. Whatever people will give him, by the evening he will give it away. Mm -hmm. And he was living a very simple life. And uh, he didn't believe in any religion. Mm -hmm. And to the Muslim uh, people who came to him, he will take the name of uh, Lord Rama, Hindu God. And when the Hindus go to him, he takes na name of Allah. Hmm. So as if he was trying, there is no such thing as God as such, no. Mm -hmm. Whatever name you may call, whatever religion, it has nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And I, from my childhood also, believed in that way. Believe that God transcends God, yeah, religion. God is trans yeah, all this, beyond all this. Mm -hmm. Water, the name you call the water, it remains water. Mm -hmm. Your father, you may be calling in different word. Somebody else will call in their language, no? But that doesn't mean the relationship is there. Mm -hmm. So that is my way of thinking. Mm -hmm. It's, I suppose, you're already getting in touch with for lack of a better word, I might say an energy that... Yes, I feel that mm -hmm. because uh, he helps me, I feel. Then uh, people have seen <coughs> here, there's some figure standing behind me. It was in Beirut. So um, people think that it is really, he works through me. Yes. But to tell you the truth, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Beirut because yes. at, at your healing abilities uh, working just as a housewife in Delhi had become so famous that you had been invited to travel yes. uh, all over uh, Asia and, and eventually all over the world. Uh, and in this process, uh, there were psychic people who, who said that they saw yes, this figure right. behind that's you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Manifesting. And, and you yourself believe that it's, it's the influence of. I think because mm -hmm. I love him very much mm -hmm. and I feel because uh, there was somebody who was a psychic man and uh, when I was doing this work in uh, Syrian embassy I was working. In the Syrian embassy in Delhi. Yeah, mm -hmm. in Delhi. So there was a man, uh, a very famous man from France. While I was working he saw him behind me and he told me that uh, I saw who is uh, working through you. I said, nobody. He said, somebody is behind you. So I got frightened. I looked back. I said, no, nobody is there. So then I said, yes. People say that uh, Sai Baba, and there is a saint who works through me. So he said, I have got a message from him to you. Mm. So you finish your work, then I'll tell you. So he told me the name, but he pronounced it little wrongly, you know. Mm -hmm. That time I was working every day because my husband who was in military intelligence didn't believe. So I was miserable because uh, everybody was except my husband. So I was working. So he used to get angry with me. He said, one day you will fall dead. This work you are doing, being a sick, because he couldn't understand. So then he told me there is a message that you stop working every day and don't uh, heal everybody. You have to pick and choose. All those messages I got. The message that came through the Frenchman. Through that uh, a Frenchman. Yes. And then I changed my way of work also. Mm -hmm. And your husband eventually uh, came yeah, to... My, actually, uh, my husband didn't believe in the beginning. But when the scientists and medical doctors challenged me, 50 of them, and uh, they were from America also, they were doing some research work on ESI people, extrasensory perception. Yes, PSI. ESP, sorry. ESP and yeah, P or PSI. All those, all those. Uh -huh. So um, they were very much interested in me. And uh, they wanted to meet me because my came, uh, name came out in the newspaper there. So I had no idea. They say they wanted to challenge me. Mm. And at that stage, I was very much interested to know what I have got. Mm -hmm. So when they wanted to meet me, I um, agreed immediately. Mm -hmm. I wanted to meet them. But they are actually, they wanted to challenge me. Mm -hmm. 
as for example, there was a doctor and the first they started asking all sorts of medical questions. I said, I do not know anything of medical. So, I cannot answer all these questions. Better I will show my work with my hand. So, then there was a doctor, very famous doctor and who had a massive heart attack. But he told me that he is fine, fit. Hmm. Only thing his wife insisted that I check you up. Hmm. So, that is how I put my hand. My hand straight went to his heart and I got a little frightened. But I said, I thought that he does not know. So, I said, it seems that something is wrong with your heart. No harm in getting one ECG done. If there is nothing wrong, no problem. But I feel there is some problem going on for two years. So all the doctors surrounding me, no? So, that was the really, they mm -hmm. were so surprised. Then he said, Madam, I had a massive heart attack two years back. Mm -hmm. So, your work with your hand, as yeah. it vibrates, it both serves to diagnose and, and to healing. heal. Yeah, yeah, the current start passing. Mm -hmm. There is very minute electric current passes, but with every individual it is different. Mm -hmm. Some people feel I am holding a piece of ice. Some people feel uh, heat passing through my fingers. Uh, it is all different, mm -hmm. so I do not know. And for all of these years, you have never charged anybody? No, never. I do not want to take anything from anybody, no. It is gift of God. So, how can I charge? Mm -hmm. No. Of course, many other healers do. But I think, no. I, I am made in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, when you stand in sunlight or in uh, under, uh, you know, the rain or something, you do not pay for it, no? Mm -hmm. God's gift is in abundance. So, why should I, if He has given me, picked me up like this as a very special person. So, before that He, actually from my childhood I was very different. Mm. So, I was never interested, but uh, before this I became aware of this gift. Whatever there was a trace of thing in me, that also went off. Because I feel He prepared me for this work, mm -hmm. that I should never uh, mix it up with material things. Mm -hmm. With material things, yeah. So I actually give. I do not take. Mm -hmm. It is through my hand, I give His gift, pass on His gift. And whatever material things I can help people, I try to do that. Mm -hmm. You do not even accept gifts? No, I do not try to. But I was invited by this uh, Saudi king. Mm -hmm. Islam, it is a must, you know. Mm. So, the ambassador told me, Madam, it is very insulting. Then I said, okay, if people give me some symbolic small thing, I can. Actually, very little monetary value, you know, mm -hmm. as the token of their love or something, then I will accept otherwise not. Mm -hmm. And actually, in my house, people bringing fruits also, my husband used to get upset and angry. He said, okay, take one and return them. Otherwise, in a way, that means you are taking. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Only thing he says that if people want to offer, let them offer flower. Like we go to the temple or uh, anywhere we want to wish something, it is flower. Mm -hmm. So, that is why. Mm -hmm. Now, also in, in your work, obviously, there is a certain, I suppose I could say, a spiritual wealth that comes through, through your contact with Sai Baba and through the energy that comes through you. Sometimes Sai Baba even offers wisdom. Yes, sometimes, you know, uh, oh, people ask me certain questions. Mm -hmm. I feel I am not answering. Through me, He is answering. Mm -hmm. And as for example, I will get same type of vibration, whether it is a mosque or a church, no, it does not make mm -hmm. any difference. So, I like to visit any place of God. Mm -hmm.